<laughs> Hi, it's Ariana Fletcher from GeekoGourmet.com. There are lots of ways to host your family and friends who either have food allergies or unique dietary requirements. All it requires is either one less ingredient or a substitute. So you might have seen I made an original mild pico de gallo salsa on a previous video in which I added jalapenos. Well now this is actually a sweet twist to it. I'm going to be adding fresh chunks of pineapple, but if you either have allergies to pineapple, feel free to also um, use mango chunks as well. So there's no gluten, it's vegan and vegetarian, there's no dairy, so if you have any lactose intolerant issues, it's perfect. It's nut free and dairy free. So to start out, I've already pre-chopped about three um, fresh tomatoes. You can use Roma or any you know, vine ripen that you prefer. Um, next I add just a hand bunch of coriander. It's also called cilantro if you go to South America or Mexico. Um, I've chopped up half a red onion. Now you can feel free to use either a white onion or a brown onion, but this actually brings a bit of sweetness to the salsa. So just add that. Um, I've squeezed freshly um, half a lime, so add that juice. And make sure not to forget the salt. It kind of brings out the punch of all the flavors. So just sprinkle that in. Um, I also use agave nectar. It's um, a cactus based syrup and it's a bit sweet so it just brings all the flavors together so just do a, a slight swirl and last but not least um, about a quarter of a pineapple or as much as you endeavor to eat all you have to do is mix that up have a taste mm, very fresh and zesty I'm Ariana Fletcher from GiggleGourmet.com. Visit GiggleGourmet.com for this recipe and other mouth-watering treats. Thank you. <laughs>